greetings uh, neuro ninjas just thought i'd drop a quick video um in answer to a load of questions really people are asking you guys are asking what about my gcse's what about my a levels um this coronavirus stuff is um you know what even is this stuff it's kind of getting in the way um no fair enough uh, i'd love to be able to say i can answer your questions about gcse and a levels but and i'm sure your head teachers and your teachers would feel the same um, there's no easy or quick answers to any of those things at the moment. There's a whole heap of uncertainty out there. Um, and I just wanted to kind of remind everyone um, that we're living in a human brain. And actually, the brain's response to uncertainty is to feel anxiety. So that will explain a whole bunch of the feelings that you're having at the moment. You're feeling out of sorts. You might feel demotivated. You might feel confused. You might feel angry. You might feel stressed with people around you. All of that stuff is coming from an amygdala that is looking out into the world and seeing a vast amount of change and uncertainty. So therefore we're experiencing lots of anxiety. So as I said in a previous video, it's really important to link up with high quality information about what's happening. Good sources of news, good quality videos on YouTube. Do keep sharing those links with me and I'll keep retweeting them and putting them out there so everyone's got access to good quality information. That information goes into the prefrontal cortex just behind the forehead and then that can go to work working on the amygdala and helping that calm down. The other thing that's really important to do in these difficult times um, and it's something we're not always very good at is when things get difficult we tend to not look after ourselves as much. We tend to eat more of the wrong food, sit and watch Netflix for ages, do things that we shouldn't do on our phones for ages and ages, staring at Instagram when we should be outside, um, you know, walking, getting some fresh air, doing those kind of things. Obviously, some of the things we would normally do to support our 12 Rocks of Wellbeing are more difficult if we're going through a process of social distancing. Um, but just to remind everyone, it's so important. The brain generates the mind and the experience of being ourselves is 50% based on the experiences that our brain has had in the last 24 hours. So it's really important to make sure that you get enough sleep and you support your sleep by going to bed at the same time every night. It's really important that you make sure you're carrying out some exercise every day. Make sure you're continuing to eat healthily. You're connecting with families and family and friends. Obviously, the people in the house with you, but if you're having to self-isolate, connecting with people via social media, um, FaceTime, ringing people up. It's really important to listen to music. Um, and Rock 10, kindness and gratitude. A really quick way of helping reduce immediate feelings of anxiety is thinking about how you might help other people, do kind things for people. Just ask the elderly people down the road if you're popping to the shop, if they need anything. Try and think of people in situations where we can try and help those people. And the other thing um, in order to help manage anxiety is to kind of keep a daily plan. Obviously, schools are still open and a lot of you are still going to school. Um, we unfortunately aren't going anywhere because my son came back from uni at the weekend and has got symptoms. So we're all isolating for 14 days. Um, and so we're just following a daily plan is the most important thing. Try and keep things as normal as possible. Make sure you're doing your 12 rocks of well-being every single day and keep on, if you're a year 11, year 12, year 13 student or a year six child, um, make sure you're practicing, doing your deliberate practice for your exams. Uh, proceed on the basis that they're gonna happen. That's the best basis to proceed and make sure that you're managing your um, revision. 25 minutes and a break, 25 minutes and a break and do check out other videos on our channel to see how you might do uh, that revision. We'll keep posting a video every few days uh, to keep all our spirits up. Do keep sending your questions in and I'll make sure my Twitter, Instagram and Facebook feed has got lots of good sources of information about coronavirus so that our prefrontal cortexes collectively get the most up-to-date information about what is happening, uh, what's likely to happen um, and then we can manage this really tricky time. Uh, please understand that you've got the most amazing bit of kit at the top of your necks and we are much stronger and much more able to cope than it feels like we are at the time when our amygdala is going off. But all our amygdala is trying to do, bless it, is protect us from uncertainty by flagging it up with anxiety. So we need to respond with careful, considered thinking um, and make sure we're looking out for ourselves and all those people around us. See you soon.